Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We studied the series combination of capacitors in the last video. In this video, we will learn what happens when capacitors are connected in parallel. Here I have taken three capacitors and connected them in parallel combination. When do I say a parallel combination or parallel connection it means connecting the similar terminals of capacitor to a common yet the same thing I have done to another terminals as well the capacitors used here are known as electrolytic capacitor they have negative and a positive terminals the negative terminals of each capacitor connected to the common black wire and the positive terminals are connected to common red wire. Now the combination is a parallel combination. Now we will measure the capacitance of these capacitors connected in parallel. The capacitor that I have used here have capacitance equal to 1 microfarad. Now I am going to measure the capacitance with the help of this clamp meter. I will set the clamp meter to measure the capacitance. Now it is ready. I will place the probes. Red probe on red wire and a black probe on black wire. See it reads capacitance as 3.028 microfarad. So approximately 3 microfarad. This shows that when capacitors are connected in parallel, the capacitance gets added up. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 microfarad. Now I will uh, connect this these uh, capacitors to a battery. We connect uh, the black wire to the negative terminal and the red wire to the positive terminal of this uh, battery. Now, the voltage across them is measured. Now, before that, I'll set this clamp meter to measure the DC voltage. See, I place the probes on the respective terminal it is 4.8 4 volt so voltage across each capacitor is the same when they are connected in parallel combination let us consider three capacitors C1, C2 and C3 connected in parallel to a cell that provides voltage V. You always remember when any component connected in parallel in a parallel combination voltage remains same whereas the current or a charge changes so by keeping things in mind if I want to find the total capacitance of these capacitors connected in parallel 
then I draw an equivalent circuit in which I am going to replace these three capacitors with a single capacitor having capacitance equivalent to the capacitance of these capacitors connected in parallel. This is the circuit. Here I have drawn a capacitor connected to a cell that provides voltage should be I name this capacitor as C P here P stands for parallel now I will find out the value of C P for that I will use this uh, equation. Here C stands for capacitance. Capacitance of a capacitor is uh, the ratio of charge and uh, voltage. So from this Q value can be obtained if I take V to the another side. When I do so, V will get uh, multiplied with uh, C. So, now for uh, my convenience, I write uh, this equation as Q, which is the total charge, is equal to the product of C and V. Here, instead of writing C, I write it as Cp. Here, P stands for parallel. So, Cp is the capacitance of Capacitors converted in parallel combination. So then Q1, which is the charge, is stored in capacitor C1. Is nothing but the product of the capacitance of first capacitor C1 and the voltage across it. Here when now we take a Capacitors in parallel, the voltage across each capacitor remains the same. And uh, it is nothing but V across this, and the V is the voltage across C2, and the V is the voltage across C3 as well. Whereas charge varies. Here Q1 is the charge stored in capacitor C1, and Q2 is the charge stored in capacitor C2 and Q3 is the charge stored in capacitor C3. I will find out the value of Q1, Q2, Q3 separately. This is the expression that gives the value of Q1 and Q2 is the product of C2 and V whereas Q3 is equal to the product of C3 and V. Now, I am going to find out the value of Q. Here, total charge can be obtained if we add Q1, Q2 and Q3. So, Q is, the value of Q is nothing but CPV. The value of Q1 is C1V. The, the value of Q2 is C2V, whereas the value of Q3 is C3V. Now, if you look at the, this part of the equation, you may find the, all the parts of this equation have got V as common. So, it is taken out. They got V, you have got C1 plus C2 plus C3. This side also we have V. So the similar term gets answered. So what do we obtain is something what? Cp equals to C1 plus C2 plus C3. 
this is the final expression that gives the capacitance of capacitor connected in parallel. This uh, clearly shows that when uh, capacitors are connected in parallel, the capacitance gets added up. So when we connect uh, capacitors in parallel, the capacitance, the total capacitance increases. Uh, in the experimental part, I have shown you a circuit in which uh, three capacitors were connected in parallel. I will find out uh, the capacitance, total capacitance of capacitors connected in parallel combination in which each had a value of 1 microfarad written here the CP. So the total capacitance obtained is equal to 3 microfarad. This I have shown you with the help of clamp meter. Mm. One more thing we need to remember. When the capacitors are connected in series, the capacitance, the total capacitance decreases. Whereas in a parallel combination, the total capacitance increases. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.